It is disheartening that the tribunal judgment reflected the executive dominance over the judiciary. The, the judiciary or the legal talks so between Labour Party P2B and APC INEC and uh, Tinobu is far from over. Exactly, it should be far from over because he, he, that judgment actually didn't reflect the heart of the people. It showed that rigging is going to go a long way in Nigerian politics is to get rid of it it's not going to be an easy joke okay that election they rigged it and then they, they rigged the tribunal and also preparing to rig the the supreme court because definitely they will go to the supreme court and it's going to be rigged hmm. in the aftermath of the controversial presidential election petition tribunal uh, tribunal's ruling on the february 25 uh, presidential election a significant political storm has emerged in Nigeria. Peter Obey, the candidate of the Labour Party in the election, remains unwavering in his resolve to reclaim what he believes is his stolen mandate. This article delves into the latest development surrounding this political talk show and explores the implication for the future of Nigerian democracy. Peter Obey, the former governor of Anambra State, took the bold step of approaching the presidential election petition tribunal to challenge the declaration of Bola Tinubu as the winner of the election. However, the tribunal's recent decision to strike out Obi's uh, and the Labour Party petition in favour of Tinubu's victory has announced, as announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, has left many Nigerians in shock. Amidst this backdrop, Stephen Osenwege, a prominent Labour Party chieftain in Edo State, asserts that the legal battle between Peter Obi and Bola Tinubu is far from over. Osenwege highlights the disheartening nature of the tribunal's judgment, claiming that it reflects a dangerous trend of executive dominance over the judiciary. He argues that such a ruling threatens the principle of justice, equity and fairness, upon which the nation's uh, hopes for a new Nigeria rest. Osewege's concern for the future of Nigeria's democracy is evident as he laments the potential uh, legitimization of Bola Tinubu's presidency at the expense of the nation's ordinary citizens. He condemns what he perceives as an attack on the moral and ethical standards of society, asserting that Nigerians deserve better. Despite these challenges, Stephen Osenwege remains steadfast in his political aspirations. He envisions transforming Edo into an industrial hub of Nigeria if elected next year. Draw, drawing a compelling comparison between Edo and New Jersey, United States of America, he underscores the need for external funding through investment bonds, particularly from Edo indigenous in the diaspora to drive the state uh, development. So, uh, Obi will reclaim his mandate as Osawege is uh, stressing. So, in conclusion, Peter Obi's de uh, determination to reclaim his mandate continues to be a source of political intrigue in Nigeria. The tribunal's decision, though a setback, has not deterred Obi and his supporters as the nation watches closely the implications of this legal battle for Nigerian democracy and governance uh, remain uncertain. So what Osemoge is saying here is that uh, the Peter Obi's resolve to follow this case through is, uh, is resolute and is the, the legal battle is not over yet. So the trouble and the, and the, and the, and the pursuit continues because what happened is that it was a daytime robbery of stealing uh, the Labour Party's mandate, and uh, even though they have uh, they have bought over the judiciary and bought over everybody in society, it doesn't mean that they really bought over everybody, because the Labour Party and the, both the PDP are not giving up until they get to the Supreme Court. So even when they get to the Supreme Court, if the Supreme Court justices like let them uh, go and still retain the judgment by the tribunal of the appeal court 
Well, it is it will be established look at I'll be saying it to be documented that the judiciary, the executive and the legislators and um and the law enforcement agents and INEC have all and APC and Tinubu have all come together to destroy Nigeria in a, in a, in a, in a, you know in one agreement that is it so it will be documented that the both the people in power in Nigeria have agreed to destroy Nigeria finally that is it so what Osawage is saying here uh, he's also trying to campaign it's like he is the uh, Labour Party governorship candidate in Edo State and he's saying that if they give him opportunity to become governor of Edo State come next year's election that he is going to transform the state to manufacturing or production hub in Nigeria and was comparing uh, Benin, Edo State to the New York uh, to New Jersey in the United States of America okay and he's trying to say that he will attract the Edolites abroad to come to go back home and invest their money in developing the state and also have their own share of their investment as well. So that is what uh, Osawenge is saying. I just hope that Labour Party will also win because everybody is coming on that Labour Party to get, uh, you know, popularity. So, but I know that Labour Party is very, very strong in Edo State. Totally that the people of Edo are no longer interested in both APC and PDP. So it's going to be a very tight battle uh, during that election uh, come early next year. Yeah, so, but on the other hand, the uh, Labour Party nationwide is still pursuing uh, the recovery of the mandate perceived to have been stolen by the current APC president of Nigeria. Uh, we all saw what happened during the election. We all saw that it was a data robbery and they were saying enough is enough, okay? Because what is happening is, um, what is happening is um, uh, what you call a... Uh, executive dominance over the judiciary. So whatever the executive says is what the judiciary, the legislators will follow. And that is a very bad one. And the reason is because the executive arm of government is determining who heads which parastata. So they use it to, you know, to put people that will loyal to them and then it becomes a, a one system, one government system, which is not a very good one for a country as Nigeria. So there are a few comments here. Somebody said jubilation that will turn to cry. Supreme Court cannot accept any document. They can only check the PPT outcome of the judgment. Maybe maybe there is erroneous or there are errors. And with the rules so far, the Supreme Court will still withhold the judgment of tribunal. Is it withhold or uphold? <laughs> Somebody is writing here. Oh, wow. So what this person is trying to say is that Labour Party jubilation across the country will turn to cry because definitely the Supreme Court will not take any new evidence or any uh, new document for judgment. They will sustain or retain or uphold the tribunal judgment at the Supreme Court level. That's what they're saying. No problem. People are going there. Let them go there and establish that, yes, they, these people are ready to destroy Nigeria and so be it. Uh, I thought I would say Mumu Mugu, Obichari, Obichari video, just insulting people. You don't have to be insulting people in this uh, media. Or say what the issue is and then go away and allow that people to say what they have to say as well. Yeah? And another person is saying that, uh, according to Chase Shadow, meaning that Labour Party across Nigeria is chasing shadows. I mean, don't worry, it will not uh, be just shadows. It is not over until it is uh, over. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.